Hey folks, today let's play the game on ranking and rating credit cards again. And this time the contenders are the Air Miles and Rewards credit cards from Citibank. So quick summary of the game rules again, we have on top the S tier, which means super value, super worth to get it. Okay, everyone should get it if they can. And then at the bottom, we have the D tier. Don't waste time, don't buy, don't even consider it. And in the middle, we have your tier A, B, Cs as well. So it's very clear, right? S tier is the best, D tier is the worst. Let's go. First up, City Premium Miles Mastercard. So this card will give you 1.2 miles per dollar unlimited if you spend it on local retail spending, which is not excluded. And I felt that this card is one of the most important cards that any entry level credit card holders or beginners, or if you're just a fresh grad student, you should come out and get it because of this very important benefit called complimentary airport launch pass. They will give you two of it with priority pass. So what you do with this pass is that you can go to the airport airport lounge in the airport and again relax before your plane takes off right you can just relax take some food rest do some work or even if you are traveling to other countries your interconnecting flights then you can rest at the launch as well which is free also the fact for city premium miles is that there is no minimum spend you have a lot of eligible categories not much is excluded even travel and that means that you can put a big ticket item on this card that earns you 1.2 miles per dollar and best thing the miles do not expire so if you want to accumulate miles over the long term over a few years i think city premium miles card is a good to have for every Everyone. And because it is a MasterCard, right, definitely it can be linked to Instagram Amaze if you want to make foreign currency purchases. And that will help you lower your foreign currency transaction fees and even avoid dynamic currency conversion fees, which is very good for foreign currency denominated transactions. So if you do not have an Amaze card yet, do remember to apply for them using my link below and link any of your MasterCard to this Amaze card so that you can enjoy lower FX fees and also convert all spend to online spend. So for City Premium Miles, it's an easy A tier card okay no questions I think this card is good for entry beginners and also a lot of benefits as well also the fact that if you are new to bank as a city customer you can also sign up with my sing saver link down below to get like $350 or even $400 if you are lucky enough because they are giving out this cash gifts for new users who have not held a city credit card for the past 12 months for the annual fees of city premium miles cards wise I don't think you should be too worried or concerned because because even though they charge you $192.60, they will give you 10,000 miles on top of it. And if you don't need the 10,000 miles, you can just ask them to waive, but you have to forfeit your 10,000 miles for it. Okay, next credit card is the City Rewards MasterCard. So card users will get 10x points or 4 miles per dollar for your first $1,000 of eligible spend on your City Rewards MasterCard. And you see, 10 next points, 4 miles per dollar. That's so much more than the previous 1.2 miles per dollar City Premium Mouse card, right? So you see your mouse accumulation journey is just accelerated by more than 3 times just based on this card alone. Also, don't forget that because it is a MasterCard, you can link it to Instagram Amaze as well and convert any spend into online spend. And you see online spend are eligible for 10x points on Form 1 per dollar on City Rewards card. And this is my single credit card strategy because I've been using Instagram Amaze with City Rewards MasterCard for the past one year and it has worked pretty well, okay? Almost all situations, I can use it. Even in foreign currency denominated transactions, I can use it in locally, I can use it in overseas, I can use it for offline purchases very versatile strategy. Also, this card has a relatively long credit card points expiry date of five years from your card approval date. But you have to really note on when's your card approval. Uh. For example, my card approval date was in July 2018. So you see, next year, all my points will expire by July 2023. And I have to be very careful about it. It's not like five years from now, right? So even my points earned this month, I have to make sure that I redeem them before July 2023 next year. Also, one more good thing about earning miles on City credit cards is that City has the most range of airline miles transfer partners. Okay, we even have like exotic airlines like Eva Air, like Turkish Airways. All these are really good airline mile partners. So you don't have to be limited to like Asia miles or Singapore Chris Flyer miles, right? You can look at other transfer partners which may give you more bang for the buck as well. So I think you all should know by now, I'll definitely give City Rewards an 
S tier rating because I myself use this as my single credit card strategy and my priority credit card strategy. So if you are considering just using one single credit card, then just pair this City Rewards Mastercard with a Maze. But if you are someone who don't want to think so much about terms and conditions and you just want to get some few hundred dollars of free gift, then why not consider the message from the sponsor? I know your pain learning about investing because when you try to read about market news, company news, it's all scattered around the internet and information is so difficult to find. And the most annoying thing is sometimes when you click on an article, it is locked behind a paid subscription or a paywall. Now with Momo Singapore, you can get everything, every news consolidated for free and it's all convenient under one app. For example, if I click into Tesla and look at the financials, I can take a look at the revenue the indicators, the estimates, and the financial statements. Even interesting information like a pie chart for revenue and also important business data like total vehicle deliveries and deliveries by model types. Now, even better news is that Momo Cash Plus has upsides to 5% per annum guaranteed rewards. So for example, if you put in $10,000 for 3 months, you get a guaranteed $123 return. And return is 100% guaranteed, redeem anytime with no locking with absolutely zero fee and if you manage to get one new friend to sign up for Momo, you get an extra month of rewards. So Momo is indeed a great platform to trade stocks with many unique, easy to use tools within the app itself. So check out my link down below in the description and pin comment to sign up for Momo today. Okay, the next credit card is City Prestige Mastercard. So this card will give you 1.3 mile per dollar on local spending and 2 mile per dollar on overseas spending. This credit card has an income requirement of 120,000 of annual income before you are eligible to apply and on top of that, they have an annual fee of $535 that you have to pay, but at the same time, you get 25,000 miles as a reward for paying the annual fees. So then some of you may ask, this card is so expensive, the earn rates are not fantastic. Why would people even sign up for this City Prestige card? Well, the fact is that this card is meant to be marketed to the more high net worth individuals who want to enjoy more perks and benefits that comes with this card, right? So let's explore some of the perks and benefits. You will get unlimited airport lounge passes with priority pass. So that is something different from City Premium Miles, right? City Premium Miles you get two airport passes whereas for city prestige you have unlimited which also means that you can bring your friend bring a companion an unlimited number of times to the airport launch for example you want to travel multiple times you have business travel pretty sure your company won't sponsor your airport launch pass right but with the city prestige card you can go in unlimited times so i think it's really good for people who are traveling multiple times throughout the year i think it will make your annual fee worthwhile and also another very good benefit is that you have this city concierge where you can get your fourth night free for your hotel booking via city concierge. That means that for every three nights that you pay for in the hotel, you get one free night, which means that you can just stay for four nights and just pay for three nights when you book via the city concierge. Personally, I do not even have this card, so I don't really understand this benefit. But if you're someone who likes this benefit and you like the unlimited airport launch pass, then I think the $535 is well worth the money to be paid for this city prestige card. But otherwise, I'll give this card a B tier rating because I don't think this credit card is appealing to a large group of people firstly it has really high annual fees and secondly the benefits and perks are more of a fluff right more for people to spend more for people who are like us and not earning the 120k annual income i don't think we should even look at this card okay last air mile slash rewards cards will be the city lazada card this card is relatively new i think just came out like one to two years ago and it gives you 10x points or four miles per dollar on lazada spending so does this benefit sound very familiar because previously we talked about city rewards card right which earns you four miles per dollar and 10x points as well but you see what's the difference then you see city lazada card it only awards you four miles per dollar on lazada spending whereas city rewards card can give you four miles per dollar on all online spend eligible online spend so i don't think the purpose of lazada card unless you really spend so much money on lazada that you go above the cap of city rewards which is only one thousand dollars so I don't think Lazada card is really good. I'll give it a C tier rating for those who are holding City Lazada card. Maybe you should consider switching to City Rewards card for a more versatile credit card strategy. So yes, here is a quick review of the Air Miles and Rewards credit cards of Citibank. Personally, I felt that City Rewards card is a must get S tier. And on the other hand, we have City Lazada card, which is a C tier. 
not really recommended but it's good for what it is um, you may apply for it but I don't think it's a good card to hold it so what other credit cards would you like me to rank and rate do comment it in my Honey Money SG Telegram group where we talk more about credit cards personal finance and even retiring early and if you want to check out an earlier episode where I've ranked and rated all the cashback credit cards from Citibank then check out this video right here